Well, well, well. Back again with some Privateer FX. A little bit late this morning. Had some things to do this morning on the fitness front, uh, but now we're back. Let's take a look at this Euro Yen. Had a bit of a squeeze last night. Nice little break through um, 129.15 at the Tokyo Open. Right now we're sort of closing that gap, break gap. Um, we are not bullish Euro Yen. Bit of a classic squeeze yesterday. Uh, a lot of us were short most of the day, trying very hard uh, to remain short. BTPs were not collaborating, even though stocks were collaborating. DAX got smashed. Um, and so now we're right back where we started. Uh, we've tried the downside down to, uh, let's say, uh, we get down to 50. No, yesterday we got down to um, 30. Sorry, 128.30, all the way back up, up to 129.50, and now we're sort of right back where we started yesterday at the beginning of the day. No dog in this fight uh, here today, so we're just going to sit and watch a little bit. We've got European PMIs and we got UK services out today. Uh, UK services is going to be a focus for us. That said, let's slip over to cable. Uh, we printed a pretty cool low yesterday. Um, down at 10. So let's put the four hours up. So we've got this low at the figure. We've got this low at 10. We've got bullish engulfing here. So it moves through 70. Might gain a little bit of momentum. But our focus is going to be moves back through 10. This is the line that we're drawing, and this is the line that I think everyone's going to draw. We've talked about this before. Your technical analysis just has to, you have to figure out what everyone else is drawing. This is what they're going to draw. And some might say this is going to be a right shoulder. Uh, but basically, this is some sort of derivative of the horizontal and the psychological 128 to figure level. This is a classic break trade. Um, you can pre-trade it on prices below 20. Uh, but for me, I'm not going to pre-trade it today. I'm going to have 09s and 99s in. So we're going to get short through 10 and more short through the figure. ISM services could be our horse here. Obviously, that's a binary call. If ISM services are super strong and you are bullish cable, you want to just buy through these highs. 128.70. Um, so we'll have to see where we are in three hours' time, but keep a close eye on the ISM services. The other big moment today is Bank of Canada. Dark CAD's just lingering up here in the face of all this NAFTA stuff. We printed a high of 09 yesterday. Today we've been up to 87, down to 63. We're right in the middle of that. Nothing to do in Dollar CAD until BOC. Uh, certainly no one is expecting them to raise rates. Considering the negotiations that are going on right now with the U.S., it would be hard to imagine they raise rates. That would be the massive surprise. If that were to happen, just close your eyes and hit a bid in dollar CAD. Uh, otherwise, we wait for the statement and see how bearish or bullish he is on his country. Let's take a look at dollars are. How fucked are they? Economy is in contraction now. Um, we're going to test this high, 1545, uh, and we're going to go even higher. I mean, South Africa is is so screwed; it's just quite sad. I mean, and talk about failure of leadership, uh, which is happening globally right now. I, I dare you to name five countries with with great leaders at the helm. Uh, 
globally right now. Bunch of nitwits out there uh, currently, in my opinion. South Africa is firmly within that group. Um, you know, it's like uh, I was telling a buddy uh, yesterday. It's like it's like watching a car crash, except for the car is a beautiful antique car. Obviously, South Africa is a beautiful, wonderful country. Beautiful, wonderful people who are just getting fucked by bad policy. Uh, and some bad luck, let's face it. The water crisis is not really policy, per se. Uh, but uh, as I uh, disembark from my high horse here and come back to um, trading, we're just buying this on dips and, and trying to stay core long. We squared up yesterday. Uh, we may regret that today. Uh, this is the big point, 1545. Anything down towards 15 to figure is a buy. Uh, this is a one-way train. Uh, if you missed it yesterday, South Africa is in recession now. To add all of the other crappy shit that's going on, now they are uh, their their economy is contracting. Um, it's not good. Any of you guys who are religious out there, uh, go ahead and pray for South Africa. We got Turkey. They're threatening to do something, uh, monetary policy, next week. Uh, sounds like hollow words to me. They're pretty much in the same boat as uh, South Africa. Crappy leadership, bad policy. Over the last five years, now they got to pay the piper. This this uh, high, which we know is 724, is going to break this week. Uh, we don't trade dollar turkey too much; it's just too insane. But if you do, uh, be careful if you're short dollar turkey because it looks pretty powerful on the long side. Dollar max is a nice little snip through uh, 1928 yesterday. This uptrend is less powerful, but nonetheless, it's it's happening. We're probably going to get to 20 uh, this fall. Uh, Mexico is not in the dire straits as uh, some of the other EM EM currencies, but uh, this is buy on dip as well. Um, let's just have a quick look at euro middle of the range now. So we have this top of the range, 117.30. We got the bottom of the range, 113 or 115. Uh, we do enjoy selling high ones. It's going to have to be really high today for us to sell them. So sort of 116.40 we're sellers. Uh, and we do think this Italian budget and Italian nonsense games, the Italian circus, whatever you want to call it, is going to begin this week. So being short Euro or short Euro-Swiss or short Euro-Yen tactically um, this week makes sense. Uh, but we're hit and run, grab the profits when they're there uh, until we get confirmation and that confirmation will be BTPs. Big, big green day yesterday, a bit, bit crazy. Um, Looks like we're going to break this uh, 125.22 today, uh, but this is a fade. We're sellers of high ones, but we're grabbing cash, getting ready, adding, having some PL ammo for basically this 122.20. I can't uh, say this strongly enough. When 122.20 breaks, it's going to be a loads of fun. It's going to be a European meltdown. And there's going to be a lot of money to be made. So, even if you never trade BTPs, every day, watch for BTPs 122.20. Obviously, now we're 250, 270 points away. So, it's not pressing today. But, as we all know, trading is about being prepared, visualizing, all that stuff. So, start visualizing now. Um, and then uh, 
get ready for BTPs to blow up as in rates higher, euro to go way lower, euro yen to go way lower on the day that BTPs break this level. All right, people, I've said enough. Uh, good luck out there. Our horse today is cable, and we will be waiting with sharpened knives for Dollar Cat and the Bank of Canada announcement. Good luck. See you tomorrow.